thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's an article in this magazine you might be interested in. It's yeah. by, yeah, by a lady from the Women's Liberation Movement. She says that men use dancing as an excuse to treat women as sex objects. Well, she may have a point there, Dean. I've, I've seen the way some guys carry on when they're dancing, and, you know, they think they can do anything they like to a girl as, uh, as long as they do it in tempo, you know? <laughs> but, you know, this article says that women ought to refuse to dance with men from now on. Now, wouldn't that be terrible? Why? Men don't need women to dance with. We don't? No. We could dance with anything, we, even inanimate objects. Oh, you mean married women? <laughs> no! No, Dean! I mean simple, everyday objects. Come over here, I'll show you. Say, we're in luck, Dean. A lot of them seem to have come stag. You mean you're actually gonna dance with these things? Not without asking. Oh. <laughs> May I have the pleasure? Jane, see if she's got a squeegee for me. <laughs> Don't worry, Dean. We'll find you a partner. Oh, all right. Find me a partner? Yeah. Hey, we'll find... Hey, what about this bathtub? No. It's married. How can you tell she's married? It has a ring around it. <laughs> What's that? Well, when they're going to the powder room. Oh, why can't they ever go alone? <laughs> But I've never done this with a real live girl. May we set this one out? <laughs> I'll bet you're glad to get out of the house. <laughs> We could make beautiful music together. You're too late. She's got a kid. Got a kid. <laughs> it just dawned on me. What? No wonder you're so good at this. You've had a lot of experience dancing with inanimate objects. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Here, be my guest. Singing in the rain What a glorious feeling I'm happy again Laughing at clouds Dark clouds above The sun's in my heart And I'm ready for Come on with the rain of a smile on my face. I'm dancing. And singing in 